Remove the drain pin from the MOSFET. Wrap the 2.2K resistor around the gate and source pins of the MOSFET. Solder the resistor to the two pins. Cut the excess wire from the resistor. Strip the insulation off both ends of the negative black wire. This wire will go from the MOSFET to the battery. Solder the negative black wire to the source pin. Crimp the ring connector onto the negative wire that go from the MOSFET to the motor. Add heat shrink to the join. Bolt the ring connector onto the drain tab. The wire should point away from the MOSFET. Strip the insulation from the two strand wire. Add solder to the two strands. Cut one side of the 100 ohm resistor so that one strand can be soldered onto it. Solder one of the wires from the two strand wire onto the resistor. Add heat shrink to the join. Slide the length of heat shrink onto the resistor. Bend the resistor into a U shape and cut as necessary.
solder the resistor to the gate pin of the MOSFET. Add heat shrink to the join. Measure out a length of positive red wire. This wire will be going from the battery to the MOSFET. Strip one end of the positive red wire. This will be attaching to the battery connectors. Align the ends of the positive and negative wires and mark the location of the remaining strand of wire onto the positive wire. Strip the mark insulation from the wire. Add a length of heat shrink to the positive wire. Solder the remaining strand to the positive wire. Apply the heat shrink to the join. It is not necessary, but as I have them, I attach heat sinks to the MOSFET. Apply heat shrink to the entire MOSFET. Attach your connectors of choice to the battery ends of the wire. Be sure to visit airsoftutorials.com for further information on this tutorial.